Welcome to another free Microsoft Access video tutorial brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. My name is Richard Rost. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to use conditional formatting to format fields in your forms or reports based on a different fields value. So here I have a simple form with a list of customers. It's a continuous form. I've got last name, first name, phone number, company name, and credit limit. Now using simple conditional formatting, we could have Access change the credit limit red if it's over $1,000, for example. However, what if you want all of the fields on the form, or at least the first name and last name, to show up red as well if the credit limit is over $1,000? Well, in this lesson, I'm going to show you how you can have each of these fields look at the value in a different field to apply conditional formatting. We'll go to Design View, click on the field. On the menu, go to Format, Conditional Formatting. This brings up the Conditional Formatting Rules Manager. We'll go to New Rule, check values in the current record. If the value is greater than, or we can go greater than or equal to, 1000 and then set a format let's say black foreground and a light red background like that okay hit OK apply hit OK now when I switch back over to form view you can see that those fields are now red but what if I want the other fields in this particular row here to show up in that same formatting right not just the credit limit what if I want the company name to also show up with that color well you can basically use the conditional formatting rules to look at the values in the other fields in that record here's how you do it again back to design view click on the company name field this time or if you want you can do multiple fields too by just selecting them right click 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 get all four of those all right again format conditional formatting all right multiple we got multiple fields selected new rule check values in the current record now this time we're not going to be going with field value is we're going to go expression is now the expression means you can type your own formula in here now what's the formula that we want to have to evaluate to true in order for this conditional formatting to be applied. Well, in this case, I want the credit limit field to be greater than or equal to 1,000. So put your field name inside of square brackets, credit limit. I know in some of my other courses I say that if you don't use spaces in your field names, that access doesn't require those square brackets. This is one of those cases where it does. Otherwise, it's going to convert credit limit over to a text string, which I really don't like. But credit limit inside square brackets, greater than or equal to 1,000, just like that. Set your colors here. Hit OK. Hit OK. And now save it, and I'll flip back over to form view, and there we go. This guy here is just looking at the value in that field. The other fields here are looking at the value in this field to get their format. It's a simple conditional. So that's how you can apply conditional formatting based on the value in a different field in the same record. 